What's up guys? So today I am just sipping on some makgeolli and I'm playing in makeup because it's Sunday and I'm bored. So let's get this cracking. This is banana makgeolli. It's a rice wine in Korea, pretty popular drink. I am really not a big drinker. I have a stupid low tolerance for alcohol, but this makgeolli is pretty smooth and I do know how to control my alcohol intake, so. Fenty Beauty by Little Miss Rihanna is not, I won't say it's not available in Korea, like we don't have Sephora's here. Um, I'm putting the Fenty primer on my face, all over my face. Another disclaimer, you guys know I'm not the makeup channel, like you have seen my makeup look busted on this channel plenty and many a time, so uh, yeah, that's why I was trying to distract you guys with a little chit chat. But yeah, we don't have Sephora here, so I had to order my products online, which is fine. But Little Miss Rihanna released such a wide range in makeup foundation shades, like, I did not know what my shade was at all. Like, this video is out so late because I could not match my foundation. Like, you gotta take into account YouTube, lighting lighting on the Fenty website like I just was not ordering the right shade first I ordered 450 that didn't work it was I'll show you guys the bottle now when you look at the bottle it looks like it would probably match my skin perfectly no it dries down really red and really dark and I don't know how it's showing up on camera but I have like yellow and red undertones in my skin or I think y'all know I do not know anything like major about makeup so don't roast me. After that didn't work I ordered 440. 440 has cool undertones which I didn't know I was just looking like okay the bottle looks like it would be perfect the model on the website looked like she was my skin shade but um 440 did not look that bad on me it just dried down a little too red and ashy on me I was looking at other people on YouTube and I was like 430 has to be it like it says warm undertones with subtle red shades which is what I feel that I have but 430 has been sold out literally for months. So I settled for 420 and to me in the bottle and even looking at people on YouTube and looking at the Girl on the Fenty website, like, what? <laughs> but I got 420 and um, I think that it's a pretty good match. Like I put, you gotta shake it well first. I know that you're supposed to match foundations to your chest, so let's get into it. too much I don't know, I'm not trying to show you guys my tits or anything it dries down pretty nice so yeah. I feel like it's a it's a decent match I know I'm not no 410 or 400 so I'm chocolate honey let's cover that up some sorry I'm not looking directly at you guys I need to see what I'm doing cuz I don't know what I'm doing with makeup I don't feel like there are any rules with makeup. You can kind of just apply it how you want, right? A bit onto my brush, which I've already used. I did not see the need to flex in front of you guys and come here with fresh brushes. I'm not a makeup channel. I just be sharing my life. You feel me? I decided to do another year teaching in Korea. If anyone didn't know, like that's why I live in Korea because I teach English here. I've been teaching here. This is my second year and next year we'll make a third. But prior to coming to Korea, I taught in Thailand for a year, Phuket. So yeah, um, me personally, I know I made a video about being in a quarter life crisis, not really knowing what to do with my life. And that was almost two years ago now, it was when I was 25. And I wish people would stop watching that video because I was in a terrible space mentally, physically, emotionally when I made that video. And I was probably being hella dramatic, but um, 
I know that career-wise, I want to do things in the public health field, and I also want to generate residual income. Okay, so I don't have perfect skin. I'm sure you guys saw before I put on this foundation. And I do have some texture because my face is chubby right now. I've been eating like crap. I've been raw, like raw vegan almost all of this year, but that little month I took off in October, baby, I went vegan ham. Like I was looking like I caught a lick of everything that is edible for a vegan person. And I got major damage control to do because I have ordered a pretty revealing, oh my gosh, pretty revealing outfit for New Year's. Probably the most revealing thing that I've worn and I'm not trying to have like shamu stomach when I wear it. But um, what was I even talking about? I want to do things related to public health, but I also want to generate residual income. And I was talking with both of my parents and my co-teacher and then just a lot of other people that I look up to. And I feel like this is not like new news. I'm just blending down to my neck because I wanted to not look like I'm wearing a mask. Hope I'm doing this right, y'all. Please don't laugh at me or roast me in the comment section because y'all know I'm not the makeup person. Get my chest dry. So, see, it looks a little off, but that's the best match that I could get because I don't feel like 410 or 400 is it for me. And I feel like it blends well with my neck, so 420 it is. I feel like. We were told that you should go to college and you'll graduate and get a job and live the American dream. And I told you guys, like, the American dream terrifies me. Like, just being stagnant and having the same job and a family and, like, that's it. It's just like you're stagnant. Like, you should be able to do what you want to do in life. But the American dream isn't even realistic anymore. Like, after the recession, jobs aren't there for college students when we graduate. Now it's like, oh, you got your bachelor's? You gotta go get a master's or you're nobody. And it's like, I feel like people blame millennials a lot. They call us lazy, da 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 da. But the baby boomer generation is what effed everything up. Like, there are no jobs when you come out of college until you have to do something else. I'm about to start using the matchsticks. I'm gonna give my foundation a little bit of time to set. So, oh, let's have a drink. I hope this isn't disrespectful to anyone in Korea. Like, I know I should probably get cups, but I will probably finish this whole bottle by myself. And I definitely feel that. <laughs> but yeah, there are no jobs when you first graduate. Like, they keep telling you you have to advance, advance, and advance. And my dad actually has a really, really good job. And he has people that are like superior over him, but they don't even have their masters. It's just like they knew the right people, the right people know them. People always say it's not who it's it's not like what you know is who you know. No, it's who knows you as well. You have to network like you will see these days people that really don't have any experience but not experience but like formal education but they're CEOs just because it was passed down to them or they were born into the correct families or blah 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 so me personally um, this is suede it's a part of the deep trio matchsticks by Fenty and you guys already know it's all magnetic. So yeah, I don't feel like busting balls to keep going into education after education, getting certification and degree after degree. And they keep telling us like, oh, you have to do more. You gotta do more. Um, gotta do more school, gotta do this, gotta do that. Like, I would rather just try to find a nice little hustle and I don't know, 
get rich or die trying. <laughs> Not die trying. Um, I believe in manifesting things and if you speak with a broke mind, of course you're gonna be broke, but I just don't believe that. Oh God. <laughs> One moment. Espresso matchstick by Fenty, also a part of the, the little trio matchsticks. And I, honey, I'm trying to like contour and all that right now. Y'all know, I don't know what I'm doing. And I'm a lefty, so if things look a little strange. Brad, did you guys watch Stranger Things too? Like I was thoroughly pleased. I thought it was better than, than the first season for sure. Like I was a fan already after the first season, but season two just, they did their dub fizzle. All right, hopefully this comes out to look like something. And I did get the little sponge because I'm a makeup newbie, so I just felt like I needed it. <laughs> Let's blend. I like the way this feels. And I really like those matchsticks because I feel like it's very beginner friendly, AKA me. I'm not saying anything no other girl who did a Fenty video hasn't said. Like, I like the shape that is flat at the top and Donna really did her stuff fizzle. Like I saw a quote on Twitter, not a quote, but someone just tweeted like, but um, and I know I made a video about YouTube being oversaturated, but the people listen to other people and they said, oh, it's already been done, it's oversaturated. No one would ever do anything new. Of course, makeup has always been something that's been done, but Rihanna came in and stole the freaking show and baby girl delivered. Let me bring this contour up more. I think I did that wrong. Let's bring it up there. I like my nose, so I'm not really trying to change the shape of it. We're seeing like I'm trying to give myself surgery through makeup. See, I feel <laughs> I did too much. Can I fix this? I don't know. I'm not pro. I be watching makeup videos. I just don't know what I'm doing. And I used to like really be in the makeup at one point. And when I went to Thailand. I stopped wearing makeup and when I came back to America, it's like, what in the world are people doing? They got like a chainsaw and that's a joke. I'm not serious. I just felt like, I didn't know what the hell was going on. Like, <laughs> people wearing butterfly wings on their eyes now, AKA lashes. I'm actually gonna try to put some on today. So let me quit talking crap. I'm trying to bring back the cheap bones that I lost with this weight gain. I can't believe like, I gotta get it together because I did not lose all that weight. Not that I was intentionally trying to lose weight when I did that Jesus, but I did not lose weight to gain it back. Like, I thoroughly enjoy being smaller. I'm not even gonna lie to nobody. Like, shopping is so much easier. I feel more confident because I feel like from the age of 10, all my life has just been about weight in regards to like self-esteem and whatnot, but it's neither here nor there. I'm trying to blend, y'all. I know blending is super important, for sure. I'm sure someone will let me know if I'm doing something wrong now, because people definitely had a lot of shit to say on my braces video, even though that wasn't me. Let me stop, because if you put yourself out there on the internet, you gotta be ready for whatever comes with it. And I'm not even like a sensitive person, but it's just like, people are just so miserable. Like you take time out of your life just to try to bring someone down. Some girl tried to come for me, and the comment is still there. I'm not deleting nothing. Like you put it out there, so if I address the comment, it's not me throwing shade, I'm just using an example. Some girl was like, you can't even see your top uh, row of teeth when you talk. Do you want me to go talk to my parents? Like when two people love each other very much, they procreate and they make a child and this just happens to be how I look. Like I can't help my lip shape and that you can't see the top row of teeth when I talk a lot unless I'm smiling, girl. 
and all I did was I, I commented back, um, oh, I thought you could see the, the top row of everybody's teeth when they talk, silly me, because she had a typo at first. And she was like, hon, don't come here with that unwanted sarcasm. Y'all, I know I be saying like love and peace and all that. Don't get it twisted. And I'm a really like pretty passive person, but don't try to come for my look. And then if I say something slick back to you, you go into victim mode. Like, don't come here with all, girl, it's my freaking video. And if you're going to come at me with that energy, I'm definitely giving it back to you. Ain't enough peace and all that in the world. But anyways, because <laughs> I feel like I got a little negative and ratchet all in one take. I think this looks good, right? I hope. Should I add more contour? Can you guys tell? Can you tell that I even did anything? I mean, my jaw is just going to be whatever. Because like I said, I got two chins right now because I gained some weight. To be honest, I've only probably gained like five pounds. But I can tell. Like I can tell on how my clothes fit. At first I was like... The cute little eight and now I'm going back to like a strong 10 and that needs to change because I'm not buying any new clothes this video is probably so long right now I got the cinnamon matchstick that is used for shimmer it comes with the deep trio but I decided to order rum as well and I kind of like rum a little bit more. A little bling bling. Let these make the world go round. For almost everyone great in, in the world has been left handed. I really need to do my brows. I'm on here looking crazy. I actually haven't had my eyebrows done in three years. <laughs> since before I went to um, Thailand because I didn't start getting my eyebrows done until college my actually my senior year of college like 2013 2014 and it's because I don't know like my eyebrows just never bothered me I didn't see a reason to get them done they're not very full so I wasn't like oh they have to be plucked or anything like that and the shape doesn't really bother me so I just never got them done, but then when I did, you know, you just feel like, oh, I have to always have them done now. Yeah, I haven't had my eyebrows done in three years, so I just fill them in a little bit. They aren't like stupid, fleaky eyebrows. I just do enough to where I feel good and somebody else got a problem with them. You can pay for my ticket to go back home to the lady that used to do them. Fill it in a little bit. Just give myself a few fake hair. And that's literally it. <laughs> done eyebrow, not done eyebrow. Guys, there's no rules to makeup. Like, as long as you do something and you look good at the end or it makes you feel happy, that's all that matters. So, a little eyebrow tutorials and all that. Like, who cares? Kilowatt highlighters. I have Ginger Binge and Moscow Mule. And you guys know I got, is that right side up? <laughs> I got Trophy Wipe. That's why I cannot, child. I cannot do makeup because I will have everything up. I have already played in all this stuff before. Yeah. I actually don't even know if you need the kilowatt highlighters because I already put that rum on, so it's kind of enough, I think. It's a trophy wipe. Did I try to talk myself into liking that? <laughs> I don't think it looks terrible. I just think I need more practice applying it in a different brush. Just having fun. Playing in makeup is super therapeutic as a woman, like. To feel good about yourself for a split second, you know? You guys know I got the glass bomb, right? I've been using this like a lot. I have this pencil from Etude House. It's a Korean makeup store, and I'm just using that to line my lips because I like lining my lips. 
Yeah, I was really dying when that girl said it about my lips. I'm just like, <laughs> what do you want me to do exactly? Like, I can't help. <laughs> people just, I don't know, really go out of their way to make other people feel bad. And it's just funny because it's like you had to be really pressed to leave a comment like that. I know it seems like I'm upset because I keep bringing it up, but it was just so damn funny to me. Like, girl, who hurt you? You mad? Let me throw you a cape so you can be super mad. Boy. I do have some lashes that I'm going to try to pop on off camera because I don't even need that embarrassment in my life, okay? This is the foundation dry, but I know it even looks a little dark. I don't know if you guys can see that on camera, but I feel like it blends pretty nicely. I'm a newbie with makeup, like I said, so I'm satisfied. I feel pretty. I feel pretty regardless, but getting a little translucent powder on my face. This is e.l.f. translucent powder. Goodness, I'm a newbie. <laughs> Someone's probably roasting me like this bit is using L, really? Okay. So, my camera is on 4%. I'm trying to finish this before it dies on me. Okay, okay, okay. I'm satisfied. I feel like I can get good in makeup. Um, I'm a pretty artistic, creative person, so. I know it can only go up from here. All right, using e.l.f. spray. Look, e.l.f. gets the job done and it's vegan, so. Whew. Let that dry. I definitely feel that mockery a little tipsy, so I don't think that was the brightest idea to do with makeup, but. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Um, I never even finished what I was saying earlier. I'm staying in Korea because I live a really comfortable life here, okay? My rent is paid. I make enough money each month to pay Sally Mae and to save money and still be able to sustain my living here throughout the month. So, yeah. My job is easy. I have an eight hour work day. I'm only physically teaching for four and then the rest is just like desk warming and planning. So I live a pretty comfortable life in Korea. I'm optimistic about this next contract starting in February and I'm excited to take you guys more along the ride with me um, as well as other stuff, not just Korea because I don't want to fall into that Korean YouTuber uh, category. But yeah. Um, can you guys please let me know what kind of videos Yeah, this was fun. Okay, cheers guys. What you call an icon living? Start a record label, Miss Fish just did it. Boom. Nylon, couple five minutes. Whoa, we up too hot in the business.